In terms of the symptoms of migraine, migraine is a complex disorder and it can be broken up into various phases. There is what we call a premonitory phase that uh, tends to occur anywhere for up to a day or even two days prior to the headache itself starting. In that phase, patients get all sorts of symptoms such as cravings for food, they're yawning excessively, some have frequent urination, uh, some patients will report that they've got some neck stiffness, uh, and uh, there are a whole host of further psychological symptoms that people can get as well. They can either feel low, they can feel fatigued, or it can be the opposite, they can feel euphoric. So that premonitory phase is then followed up uh, in about a third of the patients with what we call aura symptoms. These are usually visual symptoms. Patients will report that they get flashing lights, zigzag lines, dark holes in their vision. But they can also be sensory, they can be numbness or tingling in the arms or the legs. Some people will get speech problems where they have uh, difficulty recalling words that they would otherwise not have much in the way of difficulty recalling, uh, or they just have some slurring of speech. Very rarely, patients can also get weakness on one side of the body. Yeah? So these are what we call aura symptoms, and uh, they occur in about a third of the patients. This is then followed by the headache side, a headache uh, uh, the, that uh, migraine is known for. The headache is often very severe, and the headache is associated with a nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light or sounds, occasionally even smells, and patients want to sit still. And the final phase is what we call the post-trauma. Even when the headache is over, patients often say that they just generally feel lousy, they feel fatigued, they feel tired. So it's a complex disorder. Yeah, with a multitude of phases, uh, but it's the headache that is often the most disabling phase of all of them.